Got a toy today from Dad, Papa. Got it set up here. We're about to see its maiden voyage. I don't know if you've ever seen these magic drinking birds. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, I started the process all over again. Babe, stop it. Walk away. I'm okay. Here's how this thing works. You put the beak of the bird into water, like it shows here. The beak, the head is covered in felt. So water starts to evaporate. The water that evaporates causes a pressure change and condensation. And that pressure change causes the blue water to go up the middle straw into the head which causes the head to tip over into the drink again. And he's almost doing it. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Oh. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and the cycle starts all over again. Here comes the blue water. You can see it coming up there over the silver part. So the pressure is building, causing that water to go up. his head down like he's drinking from the water and it'll start all over again here he goes do it do it do it do it there he goes all right i think we need a slightly taller glass but that nose of his is pretty wet so he'll keep going for a while Okay, so this has been my TED Talk. If you don't know, this demonstrates a number of physical laws, including the combined and ideal gas laws, the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution law, heat of vaporization, center of mass, torque, and capillary action. Contrary to popular belief, the original drinking bird is not an example of perpetual motion machine. Rather, it's an example of a heat engine. Damn. Science is fun.